these temperatures obviously we know can be dangerous. We've talked about it really all week, so we want to make sure you know where to go to get some relief if you need something. And for good reason, because experts in the AC business say that their business is ramping up along with those temperatures. Gina Gleros joins us this morning downtown before we heat up even more. Good morning, Gina. Good morning to you. We've already seen some runners here on the cultural trail before we heat things up. And right now in downtown Indianapolis, uh, temperatures are already at 80 degrees. Now, the last time we had conditions like we are expecting today was last July when the temperatures were 99 degrees, IEMS. Uh, had 16 heat emergency runs that day. Now those temperatures will put your AC to the test. We spoke with some HVAC experts who are already very busy this week. Williams Comfort Air has seen an uptick in calls since Monday when the heat index was over 100 degrees. The heat and humidity can find its way in through windows and door cracks the same way cool air can exit the home. So keep those blinds and shades closed to keep the cool air in even at nighttime. Now check your air filter. Use the the AC st system fan settings to circulate air and you should lower your thermostat to no less than 20 degrees of what it is outside. They call that the 20 degree rule. So if possible to that's going to avoid the strain on your system. Now there are places you can go if you need to stay cool tonight or tomorrow across Marion County in central Indiana. We have put a list of those together for you on our website. You can find those on WTHR.com slash scene on 13 ahead. We reached out to several school districts across Marion County and central Indiana to learn about what they are doing in this brutal heat uh, when it comes to recess, transportation, all the school practices. So you'll hear from IPS and Perry Township that's coming up ahead at 630.